Hello YouTube and welcome to another GIMP Wiz tutorial. Today we're going to be making a contaminated uh, effect image like this one you see on my desktop that I made earlier. So we're going to speed things up a little bit so I can get this in time with the YouTube uh, timing stuff. So after this we're going to go to File, New, and leave it at default size and uh, change the uh, background color to black like this and then file open as layers and there's a nuke sign in the description that you can download and after this we're gonna right click on our nuke sign uh, hit alpha 2 selection then go to filters light and shadow and drop shadow you're gonna set the offset X and offset Y to 0 and the blur radius to 400 and the color at lime green and the opacity at 100 and make sure allow resizing is uh, not checked. Hit OK. And you will get this effect. After this we're going to duplicate the drop shadow one time and then merge it down so it's um, all three of those layers are merged with the nuke sign. Then go to select and none. You have this effect. After this we're going to go to File, open as layers, and there's another texture in the description that you can download. It's a water effect. And um, we're going to re rescale this um, about there. So it's crossing the whole entire image. Oh, we didn't get it all the way. Alright, there we go. And then we're going to make sure we have the water uh, layer selected and go to colors and desaturate and gives it a black and white the opposite color effect and then we're going to go back to colors brightness and contrast change the brightness to about negative 90 and the contrast up to 100 and hit ok after this we're going to um, change the water uh, layer mode to overlay and give this an awesome effect. It's really neat. And now we're going to uh, check the eye. So you cannot see the uh, water effect for right now. Then we're going to make a new layer and name it Stroke. Stroke 1. Name it Stroke 1. And this, uh, we are going to choose the Pass tool. And click on the edge of the nuke sign. And all the way across and make it curve so it looks like it's orbiting around the um, nuke sign after this we want to make sure uh, we want to go to the stroke one layer right click it and hit alpha 2 selection and then we're going to want to go to uh, edit stroke path and make sure your um, color is set on a yellow um, ish the line width is at 5.0 hit stroke and you will see that it gives this um, uh, stroke effect after this we're gonna want to make a blur effect on it so we're gonna go to um, filters blur and Gaussian blur uh, let's set them um, just how they are well let's actually set the set it to um, two set both of them to two and it will give it a nice glow effect and after this we're gonna get our eraser tool and make sure you have the um, circle fuzzy 19 and uh, we're just gonna change the opacity down to change the opacity down to about 20 and uh, make it um, kind of fade off so it looks like it's fading off into the distance like this and then fade it a little bit right here so it kind of looks like it's coming around and just all the way around after this we're going to want to do the exact same thing uh, the exact same so we're going to make a new layer name it stroke 2 this time and then uh, I'm going to do my next two strokes. We're only going to do three. 
So first one, second one, and then third one. So I'll be right back when I get done making these. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, I have my strokes all done. Stroke one, stroke two, and stroke three for layers. And now we are going to um, get uh, our paintbrush tool and make sure you have um, the Sparks uh, tool selected and make a new layer and name it Sparks. And now what we are going to do, uh, we are just going to make line, uh, just draw right around your lines that you made like this. And it will give it that effect. And it's really bright. It's just covering the whole entire line. What we're going to do is we're going to go to um, make sure you have your sparks um, layer selected. And what you can do is you can change the opacity down to about 50. And that will make it that effect. Or you can leave it at 100 and change the mode to overlay. And it gives it more of a greenish effect. But I'm going to change one back to normal and put it about 50 for the uh, opacity right there. And now we can um, make sure we have our water. Click uh, the eye and then it will give us the water effect back. And now we can, if you'd like, you can put text down in the left corner. I'll do that really fast. I'll just make a new layer, name it text. Get your text box draw a text box right here gimp whiz change my text to white you don't have to do this this is optional uh, I'm just doing this real fast here and then we will right click the layer alpha 2 selection select row group by 5 Color it in with black. And then I will change that opacity down a little ways and rotate it a little bit. Like this. And move it up. Merge down, and as you can see, we have a nice looking uh, nuke um, image effect. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this tutorial by GimpWiz. Thanks for watching. Bye.